Heidi ho it's Tarot Toad, and I'm back with another question from 101 Questions to Ask Your Tarot Psychic, but we're not asking the Tarot Psychic, we're asking me, Tarot Toad. The question is, how has this fear helped me? How has this fear helped me? So we're assuming the person had some fear. So we're gonna find out how the fear has helped them. Let's pick a deck. So I just got the Spoopy Tarot and I am gonna try this question. How has this fear helped me with the Spoopy Tarot? So let me shuffle it up. Okay, so this is not the easiest deck to shuffle. Um, overhand shuffles, okay, but um, to shuffle the deck, very difficult. Maybe it's just because it's a new deck, but. Okay, so we're gonna find out how this fear has helped me. So I guess I've had some fear in my life, so let's find out how that fear has helped me. So let me do this. I'm gonna pull three cards. Okay, so there are my three cards about how this fear has helped me. I am going to have to consult my book because we don't have normal wands and coins and those types of things. So let's see. So I wanna, so I wanna point out one interesting thing. They call them pentacles, cups, wands, and swords, but they don't have, these are obviously not pentacles, wands, swords, or cups. So my other beef is that at least with the major, I had a picture, right? But when I get back here, I guess none of these are eyeballs. I could be a cup. There's nothing at the beginning that tells me. Maybe I can go wait to the beginning to see. Um, yeah, that's not good because I can't tell. So I guess I'm gonna say that this is a cup so these are cups, would you agree? And this, a wands that looks like a sucker, and those are suckers. So, um, my, first of all, these don't really spark any of my intuition here. Um, <laughs> Okay, so my question is, how has the, this fear helped me? So the Six of Cups, it's helped me to go through it so I can help someone else is, I guess, one way to look at it. The Three of Wands is like the embarking card. I don't see anything embarking in that card, honestly. I hate to say this, but I just have to close my eyes and not look at these cards. <laughs> Oh, oh, this does not help me at all. Eight of Cups, that's walking away from something. I have no idea. <laughs> okay, I'm closing my eyes and thinking about what I know about the tarot. Okay. If this is the Six of Cups, I'm not convinced it is. Um, 
How has my fear helped me? I think it's helped me because I can look back at times when I've made mistakes and I've learned from them. So, you know, that, that fear of making mistakes, it helps me because I can go back into my memory banks and be like, okay, hold up. Don't, don't, don't make that kind of move. No, that didn't work before. Don't do it again. So my going back in time, the fear has helped me. As far as the three of wands, I think the fear has helped me embark on new things. Like I didn't think that I would run for like an office and win. And, and I did, I was afraid and, but I did it anyway. And so embarking on different journeys, taking that next step, it's, that's fear takes you to the next step where if you had done nothing, you would be nothing, or you would have not moved forward in the way you wanted to move forward. And then the eight of cups is like you move forward and you walk away. So my fear has helped me in times where something doesn't feel right and I get the hell out of there. Um, there have been situations in my life, especially when I was young and naive, where, you know, I could have, I could have really been in harm's way, but you know, it's like a spidey sense saying, get out of there. So I think my fear has helped me there. I am really sorry this took so long. <laughs> but this was painful. This was painful. I just don't really connect with these cards. And there's not a helpful way for me to connect because I don't know if I'm even looking at the right thing. If I would have kept them all in order, I'm going to have to go back and watch my walkthrough video to see if I'm even right about this. <laughs> okay, what do you think? What did you get from this? Did anybody really like, whoa, resonate with this? I'd love to hear from you. Um, until next time. <laughs> Toodaloo! Bye!